What's up, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, the Memphis Accelerate, coming at you with 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where every day, for 100 days, we look at a different deck every single day. Today, everybody, we're taking a look at some good old hat. That is hand traps, artifacts, and trap tricks. This is a very nice deck, which can do a lot of very mean, trolly things. We can just annihilate our opponents with things like Quake and Mirror Force. We've got trap holes out to the wazoo. We have Solemns. we got all the trap trick monsters. The new ones, especially, we've got the new Trap Trinks Link Monster. It's a very nasty trolley deck. We like to go first and just completely wreck our opponent's day. And we're going to show that off in today's episode. And, of course, big shout out to the gentleman who asked for today's deck, being Mr. Libra October, who asked for some Trap Tricks action, and we're going to give it to him. So let's go ahead into today's episode and uh, have ourselves a good time. All righty, first opponent of day. We want to go first. This is a very much go first or go home sort of deck. Opening hand is pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll start with Mermello, the original Trap Tricks OG monster. And by OG, I mean the one that starts up your place. You normal summon this. You can search any trap hole you want. I'm going to go ahead and get... Hmm, spoiled for choice. I'm going I'm to get the OG bottomless trap hole because I like that one the most. I like that one the most. Now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to set a card just to show the mechanic of setting cards. We're going to make our Link Monster Trap Tricks Sarah. She is pretty much the most important Trap Tricks. When you use a normal Trap card, she'll summon a Trap Trick from the deck. If you use the Trap Tricks Monster's effect, she lets you set another Trap Hole. It's a very important monster. You want to set this up as soon as humanly possible. And we're pretty set. You know, we're pretty darn set unless we get hit by like... I don't know, Harpy's Feather Duster, that would not be good. But you know what? Who is even playing that card anymore? Nobody. Nobody plays that card anymore. So we'll see what our opponent does. You know, I've got Grave Hole here. Uh, let's see, Dark Beckoning Beastie Boy. Let's see, what does this one do again? That lets him add, let's see, only during the main phase, normal summon. Okay. That is fine. It's fine and dandy, because you know what? We're going to wait for him to summon out Sacred Bee, or whatever he's going to do. He's, got, he's going for a Sacred Beast. I know how Sacred Beasts work, thank you very much. I know very well how they work, and it's fine. You know, he can summon a Sacred Beast. I'll just destroy it with Trap Hole, because unless he has the Field Spell, Sacred Beasts don't have any protection against this. So it's fine. He, he can do his stuff. I shall set up my trap, and then I shall destroy my opponent. That is how this works. That's how trap tricks works in general. You set your trap, and you just wait. And yeah, all, all the trap tricks monsters, they're based off, like, carnivorous plants and animals. Uh, I'm not sure what Sarah is based off. I tried looking up Sarah, but I did not see... I, I couldn't find Sarah, but I looked up, like, all the other ones. Uh, let's see, I pulled it up here. Like, the new monster, um, Ultracularia which I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, that one's just, you know, it's just a bunch of different carnivorous plants have that name. 200-something species, and they're called, they're called bladder warts. So, kind of an interesting name choice there. What do we got? He's just coming, bringing this back out. What is this guy up to? I'm not sure. Trip this card, target a monster. Can I be sure my card effects this turn? Okay, that's fine. You know, I don't need to destroy you. I'll just bounce you instead. Back to the hand with you. Back to the hand. Go away. All right, so we'll get rid of that. Now, Sarah, like I said, is going to go off, and I get to summon a Trap Tricks monster. In this situation, I am going to go for Mermello. And the reason for this is because Mermello, when special summoned, will pop a spell trap. More importantly, this lets me get another trap card. My opponent is like, oh, no, what did I do? Yeah, I, I'm not going after your stinky beast boy. I really don't care about him. So Sarah's going to go off. I'm going to get another trap hole. We're going to get floodgate trap hole. This will let me flip my opponent's monsters face down, and they can never go back face up. It's a very nasty card. All righty. I do not have... I don't have Ash Blossom right now. I don't have the hand trap part of the deck. I've got the trap tricks part. I've got the artifact part. I've got the ha. I've got the ha, is what I've got. All righty. Um, let me think about that. See here. So what I'm going to do, Artifact Sanctum. I'm going to hope 
that I can pop his stinky cut. I, I think I should have played this a little earlier. Just a little bit earlier. I mean, I can get over one Sacred Beast. That's not a problem. Most important thing is that Moltak can pop a face-up card. And I'm going to get rid of the field spell before he can draw off of it. Because I really don't want him to draw more cards. I don't want his monster to be protected. And he didn't even attack me. The coward. That's little coward. Alrighty, so now it's our turn again. I'm going to summon Mantis. Mantis, when it's normal, summoned. This lets me get a Trap Tricks monster. And my opponent has surrendered. Alright, well, that, that's the idea of Trap Tricks. You annoy your opponent to death. And they just can't keep up. They can't keep up with all these traps. I was going to make lightning and run over this and just beat into him with Moral Tack and Sarah. We, we were pretty set. He was not going to get around this. He was not going to get around all this. So there's a good first duel. Let's go for duel number two and see what other things we can dig up. Because I, I still want to go for the other Link monster. All right, the second opponent up against an E-girl, apparently. And we're going to go first again, because I get to go first. You might be the lady, but I'm going first. So we're going to make Mantis. And you know what? I'm going to go with the new one. Let's go for Jinaloa. This is the new monster. Like I was saying, all these monsters are based off carnivorous plants and things. This is the new one. And apparently Jinaloa is like some sort of mistletoe, which is kind of kind of cool. I, I think it's kind of cool that it's a freaking moss. So, what we're going to do in this situation, it's difficult because I don't know what we're up against. Basically, Jinaloa, I can ditch any of these to the graveyard to summon it out. And, ah, it's so hard to decide. Sorry, Compulse. You better not be useful to me in a minute, Compulse. I swear, if you are, I'm going to be mad at you. So, yeah, we're going to make Jinaloa. And we are going to go ahead and make the new Link monster, Utricolaria. The bladder wart. There you go. We'll make this thing just because I want to show it off. You know, basically, this is going to let me, during the end phase, revive one of my monsters. I'll bring back Mantis. Just because. Doesn't really affect anything. The only trap tricks with special summon effects are Mermello and Deania. Which is kind of annoying, but it's just what it's just what there is, you know, just how it is. Uh, those are the monsters you want to revive with this, but if you, all you have is Mantis, such is how it is. Gen X Undyne, okay. Gen X Undyne, indeed, playing penguins. I guess. I, I don't know what this is. Penguins, indeed. And let's see, target a penguin. Let's see. When an effective as penguin, summon this card from the grave. Only uses fetch. Once a card will be returned to the field, banish instead. I see. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and set my artifact sanctum. I don't know what on earth this guy is doing, but I imagine I want to stop him from doing it. Um, not yet. I mean, basically, I just play this whenever I want, and I don't know what this guy's doing. I mean, if he does nothing, it's even better, because then I can just, like, save this for later. I can save it as long as I want. All righty, let's set ourselves a bottomless. We'll put Mantis in attack mode. And I probably should have played this in the end phase, but it, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, lads and lasses. Let's go ahead, kill Undyne. Undyne, get out of here. What? You, you, gonna, you gonna do something, my dude? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Mantis unaffected by holes, but Ultra Galari unaffected by traps, period. So even if that was a battle trap, it would do nothing to Ultra Galaria. So we're going to be all set and good. I don't know what penguins do for the most part. I know they had some new support, but for the life of me, I can't remember what that support did. Let's see. Normal trap. I'm thinking of whether I want to go for Sarah right now. You know what? Yeah, why not? Let's go for Sarah. Go for Sarah, end our turn. Utricolaria goes off, brings back Mantis. Put Mantis way over here. And then Sarah's going to go off and get us another trap hole. And we're going to get Floodgate trap hole. There you go. Boom, mock at you. And we're pretty... Once you got both of these on the board at the same time, you're in a good spot. Because they just combo so well with each other. I mean, usually you make Sarah first, but uh, 
such is life. Sometimes you just gotta do one or the other. So let's Duster Storm. Get rid of that set card. I don't trust it. I don't trust what... Oh, Book of Moon. Okay, that doesn't actually affect me in any sort of way. <laughs> Not really. I suppose if I had my Exceed, that would have mattered, but uh, I don't. I don't indeed. Let's go for DNI. Hacha. She has the most attack. So we'll go for her. So. Okay. Alrighty, so now that we've done all of that, let's uh, flip Mantis back up. And let me think about this. I'm going to go for Alamaris. Yeah, why not? We'll go full on trap tricks on this guy. Summon Alamaris. If my opponent's card leaves because of one of my trap cards, I can base I can detach material from this thing and st I can steal his monsters, basically. You know, if I hit him with uh, Bottomless, I can steal this monster. It's a very nasty monster. You can also just straight up bring back one of your trap tricks, but it, it works either way. So let's go ahead and attack whatever this is. Oh, my heart! Penguin Soldier Boy! No, leave my big things alone. Ouch, now he's going to banish my shtick. My shtick got banished. All right, well, that... I was I, I completely forget about this thing. This thing I completely forgot about. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not good, Goofy. <laughs> okay, so that that's unfortunate. That that really sucks, I'm not gonna lie. That kinda sucked. I kinda forgot Penguin Soldier was a thing. You never you never know when he's gonna show up with them tiny little flipper how does he hold that sword? I don't know. How do any of them hold anything? They have flippers. I guess they're not flippers, but they look like flippers. All right, there's another. That's a penguin. Let's see. This card special summoned. I mean, I'm gonna play one of my traps regardless. Uh, what does this do? Now, this card's destroy. Target a card. Bounce to hand. Okay, I'm gonna compulse that because I don't want him to have that, and because I want Sarah to go off. Alrighty, so now we're gonna get DNI again. Bring her back, because she has all the attack. And I don't think Penguin. Oh, you tricksy little boy. He is going to. Oh, just draw two cards. Okay. I, I was expecting worse. I was expecting worse. Not gonna lie. Alrighty, so there's another trap card. Or possibly just another Book of Moon, one, one or the other. One or the other, indeed. There's Shade Brigadine, but that doesn't that doesn't help us right now. I mean, I can, I can set it. I can set it. I can attack my opponent. I can still do this thing. This thing I can still do. And we'll see exactly what our opponent does now. I mean, he's got that set card. That could be a lot of things. I just don't know what sort of things it could be. This penguin deck is tricky. He's got a lot of tricks. I mean, that's my thing. It's clearly in the name. Tricks. It's not for kids. It's for uh, little girly monsters. That's who it's for. That's who it's for. The tra tricks are for these ladies, and that's it. Eh, could make Ultra Kaladia again. Do I want to do that? Let me think about this. Hmm. If I had Mermelo in the grave, I would probably do that, but I'm good right now. I'm good right now. I do need to plug in the laptop. I always forget to plug this thing back in before recording. I'm so bad about that. Alright, so he's going to make that thing. I'm going to be like... Hmm... Yeah, what I'm going to do, Shade Brigadine. I'm going to make Shade Brigadine, and that's going to allow me to bring out Mermelo. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'll summon Mermelo, pop whatever that is, bait that out, and then I'll be able to get another trap card. And even if I need space, I can just play Sanctum whenever I desire and lock him out of the extra deck. So we'll summon Mermelo. Mermelo will pop whatever this is. We'll see whatever it is. I mean, it, he hasn't played it in a while, so that implies either he can't play it or he doesn't want to play it. What on earth is this junk sleep? 
Normal special summons, change all monsters, face damage, during the end phase, change all monsters, face. Okay, that doesn't. This does nothing. Good. I didn't want it to do anything. Okay, so Sarah, go ahead. Uh, his monsters all have low attack. I'm gonna get. Floodgate. I'm gonna get Floodgate, and I'm gonna be happy with it. Because he's probably just gonna ram into Sarah, I would imagine. Uh, except he's not, because I got Sanctum, of course. Artifact to the rescue. Target a card. Or turn, I mean, obviously he can bounce one of my cards, but bouncing one card at this point is not going to help him. It's not going to help my penguin brother. My penguin brother from another mother, it's not going to help. Go away. Yeah, so now he's going to bounce. What exactly are you going to bounce? Moral pack? Sarah? I can just make another Sarah. Just so you're aware. I can just make another one, and you're not going to be able to get around it. You're not going to get around Sarah. Alright. Oh. Thank you. There you go. You're, pl you're trying your no penguin nonsense on me again? Not this time, little Billy. Not this time. Grave Digger's Hole. You're not allowed. 2,000 damage to you. Alrighty. So we've outed the penguins yet again. Uh, does he have another triple tactical talents, though? That's the question. I don't think he does. Okay, he keeps setting it in this zone. One has to wonder why. Alrighty. Uh, let me think about this. I, pro I should probably just go ahead and attempt to just get this duel over with. So I'm going to go for Utopia. So provided this isn't bot or this isn't like a trap or it's not a Book of Moon... I'll make lightning, and then he won't be able to do anything when I attack. That's the plan, anyway. Utopia Lightning, basically, is our main beat stick monster. He's the dude we go for when we need to just do damage, basically. And my opponent did nothing. Okay, he probably has something. He just didn't want to play it yet. I'm still going to go for lightning. Come on, battle phase, battle phase, battle phase, battle phase. There we go. All righty. So that'll be game. My opponent can't do anything. So he outed the penguin, but he gave us a surprisingly good match. So let's go for duel number three and continue to troll people with our trap tricks. All right, third opponent of day, still charging laptop. I hope the hope that buzz isn't too bad. I'm, I'll try my best to get rid of it, but it never wants to seem to go away when I try to get rid of it. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Go for mantis search monster. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to get Mermello. I could go for Xyz action right now. I could go for Aflasia. But I think I'll be fine with the setup I've got. I mean, don't get me wrong. Aflasia is very nice. But right now it should be good. My opponent immediately surrenders. <laughs> oh, I hate it when they do that. But at the same time, it's funny as hell. Some people just can't take trap tricks. All right. Um... That one won't count because that was too that was a little too easy. My opponent didn't do anything. Let's go for actual third opponent. Get someone who will at least let us like do things. Alrighty, third opponent. We are going second. This is exactly where we do not want to be. I mean, don't get me wrong, with this hand I can do things going second. But it's not that you do not want to go second with trap tricks. We are very much a go first deck. You do not want to go second. This is Perfect chance for Ash Blossom to do her thing. All right, Rescue Cat. That could have been... I mean, if it was Naturia Beast, that would have been no problem at all. I don't play spells, except for, like, the handful I do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make Mantis. Get Mantis going. I've got Shade Brigadine. What are you going to do? Are you going to negate me? Are you going to Ash me? If you want to Ash me, go right ahead, dude. I have a backup plan. That's kind of what Shade... Oh... Ouch, that hurts. Okay, that, that's fine, though. That's fine. I'll get Moss, or not Moss, but, uh, what, what do you call it again? Mistletoe. Mistletoe Lady. That's your name. All right, so we're going to set Shade Brigadine, activate Shade Brigadine, and then I need a set spell trap. Uh, which of these do I want to get rid of? That's the, that's the bad thing. I don't want to get rid of either one of them. Um. Uh, 
it's such a hard one. Eh. I guess we'll go eh. We'll go eh. I can't flip this can. I don't think I can. We'll have to find out. He's got something. Is it Torrential Tribute? I hear people have been using that card more recently. Okay, not a Torrential Tribute. At least not yet. Um... You know what? I'm gonna go battle phase. Attack my opponent. Let's gonna attack and see what he's got. I mean, what, what have we seen so far? Rescue Cat, Book of Moon. What what else do we got here? Do we have something interesting? You got by Battle Fader or something? No. Not even a Battle Fader. Unbelievable. All right. Let's go ahead and make Rahalasia. We'll make Rafflesia, and if he's got a trap card, it won't work on Rafflesia. Unaffected by trap cards. All right, so we'll let our opponent go. I've got Rafflesia, and so long as I've got that, I've access to all my trap holes. Uh, Nimble Beaver, my faith. So this is, I don't know. This is some sort of raccoons, maybe? Possibly Melfi? I don't know what it is. It's hard to tell. Just a, just a little hard to tell what this is. I'm, I'm going to go off on a limb and say it's Melfi. Uh, yes, it is in fact Melfi. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and say no to that. I'm going to say no to the puppy. Because that would bring out Kalanthosa, and I don't want that. What? You're going to try and impermanence this? Because that ain't going to work, son. That ain't going to work. There you go. All righty. 2,000 damage. As long as I got Rafflesia, there will be no puppy. There'll be no puppy for Christmas, young man. All right. Let's get Mantis back up. No, I don't need to solemn myself. Thank you. Thank, thank you for the offer, but I don't need it. Okay. So let's get rid of this beaver. So I'm, you know, that's the nice thing about Rafflesia. It's very, very versatile. Obviously, it depends on what you got, but, you know... The fact that I can basically just say no to Puppy is a good thing. Plus, I'll have very little life points after I'm done hitting all them puppies. Let's see here. Let's make Sarah. I'll make Sarah. That way, when Shade Brigadine goes off, yada, 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 do this, do that. That's, that's my explanation of what we're going to be doing. This, that, yada, yada. That's a great way of explaining how Trap Tricks works. Just say... This, that, yada, yada. Everybody will understand what you're talking about. And let's see. We know he has a puppy. What else does he have? Is it this? Yeah. Because if he tries any traps, it's not going to work. It's probably what he's trying to do is just play like some sort of trap card. So the question now is, what you got, homeboy? What you got? You got a set card? Okay. Summon a rescue cat. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No solemn. I mean, no rescue cat. N none of that. None of that, home slice. None of that. And I said no. What part of no do you not understand? There shall be no puppy. And I'm playing this because I can. So we'll summon this out. No to that. Sarah goes off. I'll summon a trap, tricks, and I will set a hole. That's right. All right, let's get Floodgate. And we'll summon Mermello so I can pop whatever this is. And then my opponents are okay. Well, to be honest and fair, he did last a lot longer than I figured he would. I figured he would have rage quit a long time ago. But uh, good, good on you, Mr. Melfi player. All righty. So uh, that's three duels. And I think I'm just going to call it today because we've done pretty much everything. Let's just go for end screen for now. Oh, wait, no. Before I do that, I'm going to leave you guys with a quick replay that I took while I was um, deck testing. I completely forgot about this. Uh, so hang tight for a quick replay of this deck versus uh, Eldritch Dark Magicians and then the end screen.
2021 went three out of three pretty much where i expected it to go this deck once you get yourself set up right it works just fine you troll your opponent you hit him with a scythe you keep destroying and banishing and negating the stuff flipping their stuff solving their stuff uh summoning lightning every once in a while your opponent's gonna have a hard time and they're just they're not gonna know what to do so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video smash a like and all that good stuff if you did and i believe tomorrow we have a hold on one second let me grab the list tomorrow is another fan request for dark magicians so that hopefully will turn out just as well so for now your boy memphis is signing out thank you guys for watching and i'll catch y'all later